What's going on guys? Today we're here at the Scar Audio headquarters. We're going to make a video today displaying the brand new, just released, MSK 200.1. This is one of the two new amplifiers in the MSK series. MSK standing for Mini SK series, in case anybody didn't figure it out. These are very high quality Korean made ultra compact amplifiers. The, uh, the reason behind making these amplifiers is for a lot of daily installs, uh, especially in some, some vehicles and and you know, customers not wanting to be able to see the amplifiers but still have that aftermarket power. Um, you know, that's that's what these were made for. And so far it seems like we're having a really good response on on how small these are and how versatile they are in setup. So what we're gonna do today is just show you the power output capabilities that this amplifier has. Um, and then following this video, we'll also do the uh, 500.1. So um, basically we have the SMD AD1 dyno here. That amp dyno is hooked up to the uh, MSK. 200.1 as you can see it's getting the power uh, from our power and ground inputs there and then the speaker wires are hooked up to the 81 as well um, our source is the, uh, the head unit this Pioneer deck right here so that's where we're gonna be getting our uh, our source from to use the 81 as you can see here's our uh, gain control and our low pass filter control as well as the RCA's and remote bass knob hookup amplifier is on we are ready to test so uh, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this going. We've got the uh, three tests, the certified, uncertified, and un, um, dynamic power runs we're going to do. So I'm going to go over here to the 81 amp dyno. Now that we're ready to get started, we're going to go ahead and click certified dyno run. MSK 200.1. Click enter, start, and pause our track. You watch that number on the left hand side, it's going to slowly increase until we hit max power up to 1% uh, under distortion. There we go. Very quick test, obviously this is a small amplifier, but uh, as you can see we hit distortion at 179 watts at that 1 ohm reading. Um, important number to pay attention to here, it's a 13.08 uh, volts. These amplifiers are rated 200 watts at 1 ohm at 14.4 volts. Uh, we're on considerably less power than 14 volts, and we're we're nearly at that uh, RMS rating that we rate them for. So you know, we're getting we're getting a little less than the 200 watts, but you also have to keep in mind that we are not at that 14.4 volts. So um, you know this amp does does pair up to what it's uh, what it's rated for. Should we have that 14.4 volts? But uh, for the purposes of this video, my test bench, we're not we're not going to have that 14.4 draw. So 179 watts at one ohm at 13.08 volts. Ready to go with the uncertified dyno run on the MSK 200.1. Select our impedance of 1 ohm, enter. We're going to start, we're going to unpause our track. Here we go. So it looks like we peaked just a little bit higher, 183 watts at 1 ohm on a little less voltage of 12.98 volts. Um, the uncertified run is up to clipping, max power up to clipping, whereas the certified is up to distortion. So again, a very uh, very good number for this MSK 200.1. And uh, being such a compact amplifier stable at 1 ohm, it's, it's very impressive. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to continue over to the, uh, the dynamic burst power run. We are all set up and ready to go, so we're going to go ahead and click start. We're going to unpause our track and we're going to pay attention to that left hand number. There it goes. Alright, so it looks like the test is over. We finished at 187 watts of burst power at 1 ohm at 13.18 volts. So. Uh, we're really happy with all these numbers. Again, this amplifier is rated at 200 watts at 1 ohm, but at 14.4 volts. So um, you're probably actually going to get more than rated power if you are at that 14.4, whereas we're sitting at about 13.05 between 13.1. Uh, so um, if you are looking for a very compact amplifier, we have the 200.1 as well as the 500.1. Those results from the 501 will be coming following this. We, uh, we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Um, but overall, just very happy with these new compact amplifiers.